Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Lucifer, Season 2, Episode 16. Let's quickly go over what happened in the last episode. Basically, if you want to give the rundown. Um, okay, so basically it starts off with Azrael's blade, and um, the mom is basically trying to get Lucifer to light it. He's like the only one that has the ability to light this blade because he's done it before. Amenadiel can't do it, he seems to be a little pressed about that. And then, so that's one, one topic that we're getting off of. And then another one was we had Maze and Chloe act like moms at the school. Why, why are they getting the blade though? Okay, so they can open up Heaven's Gates. Mm -hmm. And he, Lucifer wants to switch the mom. Wants to what? <laughs> what does he want to do? I can't do this. Can you just say it? He wants to push the mom through the gate. Right, he wants to when he like, his whole plan is to trap her there, essentially, so that God and her, her can have at it. Yeah. Also, in the recap before this episode, um, which I don't usually watch, but sometimes they, like, help me out in under understanding, like, plot points that might come back. Um, if you remember, what was his... Uriel, when he... Um, when Lucifer went back to hell, he said, the peace is with you. So oh, we yeah. still don't know what that means. Like, we That's assumed... Right. We assumed that it meant... Azrael's blade, right? Yeah. So but maybe it could be his emotions with the blade. It could be. It could. It could be like the peace is with you. It literally had his pain. Like maybe the blade yeah. will make him work through his trauma or something and make him peaceful. That's what I. So he's at peace. Peace. That peace maybe is within that's you. like a very literal. The peace is within you. That's a very literal. Um, form of it, but the right. piece could also be like him opening up heaven's gates and throwing the mom in and forcing them to hash it out and that being the piece. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. We we still don't really know. I mean, we were meant to assume that it's the blade, but it could very well be anything right now. So we're just going to try to piece that together while everything else is happening, I guess. And just kind of uh, be little detectives of our own, I guess. All right. Right. So, yeah, anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get into episode 16. 16. Wait, what? Oh, what? I'm not the devil. What? Hello. I'm doing great. Oh. He's gonna have great. some type of psychotic great break. Is... I feel like, you know, we've been hanging out a lot lately. And I think perhaps we should expand our circle of friends. <laughs> I got you, Decker. Yeah? Trust me. Mavis friends. Trixie, Chloe, Lucifer, <laughs> Linda. Didn't say that. I just think it would Aww, I like it. I just want some space. Eventually, Mavis will find a place, but until then, what's the worst that could happen? Murder. Confirmed. They've been busy moving everyone to a different floor. I love the mentally Whoa. ill. I love, I love it. the mentally ill. Theory. The 36 hours earlier thing, like what happened before that? He's just, like, playing along to get to the bottom of who killed him inside of the mental asylum thing. Okay, good theory. That's good definitely theory. what happened. Good theory. Good I theory. win. Well, he loves the mentally ill, and he does love himself, so... Yeah. Well, hello, oh my God. God. Hello, my son. What? Oh, he's mentally ill. He's oh. mentally ill. way to greet your children. I can reveal the truth about the supreme being you've chosen to impersonate. What do you desire? Hmm? To avoid a vengeful ex-wife, years of back taxes. What's your game? It's just a staring contest. Maybe it doesn't they work on the mentally ill. How's this possible? Or maybe he is oh, strong in some way. Right, yeah. I bet you're on some really amazing drugs, aren't you? Right. Maybe it's Lucifer on Lucifer's <laughs> end. Oh, uh, wait, what? Wait. He called him Samael. And look at the light. Well, look yeah, at that shot. What? What? Oh. How did you, I don't I don't know what the hell just happened. You completely <laughs> just ignored I'm the sorry. intro. I'm really sorry. I was just flustered about God. Aren't we all? The internet is truly amazing what you can find online. Have you seen that video with the cat that jumps inside the box? Very funny. Something strange about it. I can't explain it because it's just crazy talk coming from a mentally ill human. Earth is his favorite toy. Maybe he got fed up of looking at it from afar. I mean, it's not an entirely awful place. Come on, be honest. When we return to heaven, there must be something that you're going to miss. <laughs> Someone in tight leather pants with a pond chomper nice. I'm referring to Maze, of course. He might be our 
killer. What? Oh my god, how do you know that? I'll tell you how I know that because our victim was bald. It's very hard to get <laughs> bald. Off the body. So I whipped out the ultraviolet alternate light source. Proving he's the killer is the perfect way to expose his false idolatry. So we No, we shan't. <laughs> we should without permission. I had to apply for a special hearing. Chloe's been extra funny lately. I have no mm. idea why. I am the one and only Lucifer Morning Star. See? The devil. Unless you're a danger to yourself or others. How's that? Great. Lovely. Who stole my pudding again? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Mark Woods? Wanna taste? Don't you have better things to do than to raid our fridge? Hands off. I'd rather sit at home alone and in the dark than hang out with you. Wow, Jesus, that was deep. I mean, she fucking stole his pudding, so. Yeah, and everything else. I guess. That she did to him? Just the pudding. The pudding. Just the pudding would really be enough to. Wow. Yeah. Throw me over the edge. Oh. Oh my god. Wasn't he just choke like choking her? What? What? Who is this guy? It really is here. No. Unless Whoa. Lucifer is actually did you get yourself crazy right now. Going a little crazy. I'll give you one chance to apologize. Apologize? You punched me. I may have struck the latest blow, but that is only in response to the litany of offenses that you have bestowed upon me. So you believe me? So you think you have no free will? Every bad thing that's happened throughout eternity is your doing, not mine! I want an apology, nay, I demand penance. You must atone nay. for what you've done. Whoa. Now, that's not the same aisle I remember. No, this is who you made me when you cast me away. Now apologize! Wow, I'm scared. Oh, Lucifer? Ooh, She's Lucifer's wow. doctor, me. So Here's my thing, wait, wait. Wait. I think that obviously the guy is mentally ill, right? So he's just going along with Lucifer's thing because he's mentally ill. But I think that the second that Lucifer started to believe that this guy was actually his father, it, it's throwing his mind for a loop. His mind is playing tricks on him he's now. He's like spiraling. He's spiraling a little bit. And I think that's what's going to end up in 36 hours being the cause of his like psychotic break. Do you think they use like the... Uh... The joke that he made was he's going to the electric chair for his therapy. Oh my god, I hope not. <laughs> Escape, but well, we get pudding here. Oh, look, I know <laughs> the puddings are good, but there must be more that you all desire. I do want to watch it all burn. Right. Then mm. fire away. That is how we can escape from here. I think it's on Lucifer's end. You okay. think? Yeah. I think those people just offered up their desires. I don't think that he used his power in any way just now. It's a cool shot though. It's like yeah. they're walking through like a painting. I'm just confused how we like explain him like literally having the blood get sucked back into her. I think he was imagining that. I think she she definitely got attacked, but with the dodge. Mm. In different directions. If he's God, why can't he get him out of there? Like, just come in. You are as radiant as the moment we first met. You're trying to parent trap God and the divine goddess. What? I intend to leave me after a brief re honeymoon period. They'll start torturing each other like they always do. Is this really you? In the flesh. <laughs> Why is everyone just believing him? This poor guy. So what, are you going on a vacation? <laughs> I'm not sure I'd call what Lucifer mom and I are doing going on a vacation, but Lucifer didn't tell you. Tell me what? We're all going back to heaven. Suppose I should apologize for trying to destroy your precious toy with the floods and plagues and... What not? I guess humanity isn't entirely awful. They did make vodka. Hold <laughs> well, 
roller coasters. You hear about dancing? Yes. I actually did some of that on table once. Aww. The song. I never wanted to. Excuse me? Legally, I can't let you look at Dale's medical file. But what happens when I turn away is out of my hands. What if it's him? What if he's the killer? Thank you. Where's the beard? Who else has a key to that cabinet? And I need you to put these on. Oh my god. Who is that? Santa! Yeah, I know. Oh, is it the later guy? Oh, that's creepy. It's a mask. I know. Oh, it's a Looks mask. Looks like a mask, yeah. You see, I am actually the devil. No, you're not the devil. Oh. You're just a man who's delusional in a mental hospital. Oh, it was the girl that was running down the hall. Why are the drugs working on you? It's obvious, isn't it? It's because he's God. Now you know it's me. I have to kill you both. Oh. I changed my name so no one would know she's my mother. Oh, that's the girl who got attacked, daughter. Bitch, my entire life. She changed her name so no one would know. They don't normally let patients wear belts. Suicide risk. So thank you for getting a special dispensation for yours Looks because like now I got it. I don't even remember who I was ever so angry with you to begin with. I am sorry. Yeah, he doesn't remember because he's mentally not ill. How do you say my ill? I know like this isn't mm. real, but like I guess it's, it's real to him. Yeah. Boy, you can't take my belt. It's mine. LAPD. Don't move. Oh, the why did that just like kill him? Who's seven? What are you talking about? The bell. Santa. Who are you? It's me, Dad. Uh huh. The bell. Oh, they, they look like wings too, right? Or like a rib cage or something. Pieces here. What? That's the pieces here. What the pieces oh. here. Oh, maybe that was him, yo. Oh my God! It fits perfectly. Yes, I think this is what Yuri was trying to tell me. Dad supposedly destroyed the flaming sword after the rebellion, so are you saying he oh just God. broke it into two pieces, Asriel's blade? And this, yes, Asriel's blade inspired death. Maybe this piece activated the opposite. And when he mm. found out that he could heal like that, he thought he was God. He thought he was God. What's more important is that now the sword's complete. Does it is it stay? missing another part, though? Maybe. Maybe there's another piece missing. Or maybe a dragon has to breathe on it. <laughs> Who knows? So it's cool bell buckle. I picked it up and next thing I knew I woke up strapped to a gurney next to you. Lucky you. <laughs> For a brief moment I thought you were my father. And you said some things that I think I wish he'd always said to me. So does this mean you're not angry at your dad anymore? No, I'm not angry. I'm bloody furious. I realized that my father would never say those things to me. I hate him all the more. Wow. The guy's just like, damn. He's just like, oh, all right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Some okay, that, that was such a cool episode. That was a really good episode. We a thought that he discuss. was crazy for a minute. He wasn't even crazy. He was just like... Dealing with his own emotions. Yeah, like, I don't blame him. Like, not that he was crazy, but, like, he didn't fall so easily into the trap for no reason. The guy knew who, what his name was, his, like, real name, Samael, like, Lightbringer. Like, he was, he was saying all the right things, so, like, Lucifer, like, believed it for sure. For sure. So, I don't, I don't blame him for falling into the trap so easily. Also, he's, like, in a very emotional state lately. For the whole show, basically, about, like, his relationship with God and his father. You know, so. Sorry. So. I didn't say God and his father, by the way. I just want to clarify that. I said God, his father. So. Yeah. <clears throat> don't want people thinking. I don't know shit. I don't but. think that it was, like, again, like you were saying, it was so bad to think that he thought that that was his father, you know? Cause he's because he's emotional. Also, um, you know, his mom literally fell into it, too. Yeah. Like, they both have, like, these unresolved things. Did him, Menadil didn't meet him, did he? No. No. No, he was with Maze. Um, yeah. They both have, like, this unresolved trauma, and it's almost like they got, like, not closure, but, like, for a brief moment they did, and I think that was, like, really sad. Yeah. That, like, they didn't actually get it. 
Yeah. But, like, they felt it. I don't know how the mom's feeling other than lonely right now, but Lucifer... He was angry. He thought of going out into heaven himself. Yeah. Right now. It's gonna, well, he needs one more piece. Yeah, that was cool. So, I wasn't expecting that. We need, well, you kind of called it. So, three pieces. So, what basically what happened was when Lucifer used the blade in the first place during the rebellion, it didn't work. They, you know, they explained the story. And what God s- scattered the pieces, or, or they ended up on earth? Did he do it on purpose? Did he scatter them on purpose on earth? Well, I'm pretty sure so no one could, like, find it because no one's allowed to be on Earth. Right, right. Is this still a part of God's plan, though? Like, that's my question. Is this this part of it, like, them finding the blades? Yeah, I guess so. A part of his plan? I guess so. I mean, why else would he do it? And then, wait, that's do you remember when he brought up, like, the thing about free will? He never even answered the question. He was like, so you don't think you have free will? Yeah, he doesn't know. Well, Lucifer did answer, and he was like, well, I don't fucking know because everything that I've done in my life has fell into God's plan. No, I'm talking about the guy who was, like, impersonating God. Oh, he like, didn't he, That, like, literally put him into a trance. Like, they kind of, like, were... I think he was about to, like, go into it, but then, like, it just got cut short, and that would kind of explain yeah. God's plan. But yeah. It raises a very interesting question. Like, I feel like it all ties back to this theme of, like, free will versus a plan, God's plan, or whatever. Because, like... You could argue that you don't have free will if God is putting certain things in certain people's paths, whatever. But at the end of the day, like, God isn't Uriel. He didn't make, like, this happen, and this happen, and this happen, and this happen. It was kind of a domino effect. So, granted, everything needed to go right in in a certain, like, sequence of events to follow the plan. But, like, my question is, was God steering all of it like throughout the plan or did he just like do that one thing and planting Chloe's miracle baby into Chloe's mom and then just let everything happen because if he just let everything happen then it's kind of free will because everybody's just living their life and and is God behind the scenes like hoping I hope it goes this way I hope it goes you know what I'm saying they could even like try to like explain it in the show but at the end of the day you'll never truly know yeah it's a little confusing I love how they just like, they'll have an episode just about, like, whatever, you know, crime of the week. And then in the last five minutes, it's like, this is Asriel's blade comes from the hell depths of Earth. And actually, there's three pieces of it. And actually, these three pieces are needed <laughs> on. And I'm like, whoa, like, where did that come from? Well, wait a second. How did Asriel know that there was another piece? And do you think he knew about... Asriel? It? No, not Asriel. Oh my god, Azrael's blade. Uh, what's his face? Lucifer? No, the, bro- the brother that had the blade in the beginning. Oh, how did Amenadiel know? No. No, oh. did Uriel know that there was another piece? Like, how did he know that there was even another piece there? Uriel, he said that to him, but then it was on repeat, right? In the Hell Loop, wasn't it, like, on repeat in the Hell Loop too? So, like, we didn't hear it the first time, and then we kept hearing and hearing and hearing it in the Hell Loop. So, God created Hell, right? He created Hell too. Yeah. So obviously he wanted Lucifer to like really zone in on that guilty moment and have like, I guess it, the writers wanted us to hear it, so it must have been important. Like, right. Yeah. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yes. No. No. I understand. Like they didn't want us to hear it the first time around, but like Lucifer heard it the first time around. Yeah, but that makes you think also that then there's no such thing as free will because. If he wanted Lucifer to know that a piece is there, like God. Then it's like, what decision has he made so far in the show that is his own decision? If it is God's plan, I'd be kind of upset if if nothing was his decision. Because then I'm like, like, who is Lucifer as a person if his decisions aren't even his own? But, but like, that's why I want to believe that his decisions are his own. I know. I do want to believe that he, like, you know, like, went back down to hell. And, like, the mom went back down to hell. Like, she has to have free will. Like, I know, she to, like, did. save her son and stuff. Yeah, like, like, I don't think God has the power to influence the mom out of all people. So yeah. she, and she's, she's, like, influencing Lucifer's, you know, little motivations, path, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, well, they created the universe together, right? Yeah. So, like, I don't think that he would have that much influence on her if she's, like... That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that, like, her, yeah. like, why wouldn't she influence Lucifer's storyline? Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't maybe, know. Maybe maybe Lucifer like going with her and doing this plan is like against God's plan. Maybe. That's why it's like not happening. 
Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I have to, like, suspend belief for the sake of the show. Like, I need to believe that there's free will to, like, watch the show. Because otherwise, then it's like, what is this all for? <laughs> I'm gonna have an existential crisis over here. Like, you know? Yeah. So, anyways. Um, I... Asriel's great. I think we just need to take a few breaths. And watch the next episode. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe tomorrow, but... I need to take a breather, I think, after that one. Really interesting, though. I, I do need some clarification on the Blade, the origins of the Blade. Are we gonna get... I mean, it's only season two. I assume we're gonna get clarification, because Asriel was an actual person. A uh, sister. Yes. An angel. Yeah. Person. That was her blade. I don't believe, unless I forget, I don't believe they talked about the story of the blade. And I, why. I don't think that they did. Like, like the, the progression of who, who it was in possession of. Or who possessed it. You know what I'm saying? And then Lucifer had it at some point. That's what he used during the, the rebellion. How did he get it? Did Azrael yeah. give it to him? Um, I assume they're going to go into like depth. Like, how could they not? There's so many questions. I feel like once the blade is, like, complete and we finally see what's going to unfold, like, we might get, like, more, or maybe when we get the next piece we'll get some more information. Yeah, in the last three minutes of one of the episodes, they'll, yeah. they'll just dump it all they'll on They'll jam us. pack. Yeah. They'll jam pack, for yeah. sure. I, I just have some questions regarding that, and hopefully they'll be answered. But right now we just know that there needs to be three pieces. Three pieces were scattered, um, like, uh, on Earth somewhere. But did God scatter them? Did they say that? They said yeah, in this episode. You know what? God... They said he scattered them. But like... I thought he said they said he didn't know. He said God destroyed it and then it somehow ended up on Earth. So we don't know yeah. how it ended up on Earth yeah. yet. Okay. Interesting. And once... Yeah, so once the blade got there too, it like powered up the other pieces. Right. And each piece... We can talk about this next episode because like my camera's about to die. Each piece has a different... Like the blade represents chaos, death, you know... That yeah. anger, and then this piece represents like healing. Yeah, that's right. Cause like he, sorry, he literally like healed the lady. Yeah, that's what I, like he had those powers and and believed that he was God. It's like a God. It's like it's like duality. And it's like really hard for like well, it's really bad I guess if a mortal like gets their hands on it because like this divine thing. You that know? was the same thing with the freaking blade though. Cause like as soon as somebody held it, they had yeah, like they went in like a trance. Yeah, and the only person that. Well, wasn't fucking Dan it was able Dan to resist in... it? No. I didn't well, forget that. Wait. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I guess it's like how strong ever your mind is. I didn't forget that. Right yeah, but Dan was like the only person. It was in possession of like 12 humans. Yeah, you're right. Or, or at least Charlotte sent, mum, sent, you know, 12 humans to like try to. Anyways. All right. Rambling. <laughs> so. Asriel's wow. Blade. Asriel's Blade. <laughs> We're going to hopefully watch two more tomorrow. And, yeah, that'll be the end of the season. And then we're on to season three. Yeah, halfway through. So, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Check out my other reactions if you have not already. And we will see you guys for episode 17. All right, bye, guys.